Mickey Mickey, look who's back. How you doing, buddy? You still working on that sneeze? You feeling any better? Yes. What you looking at? What you looking at there, Mick? Give me a pet. You a little scratch behind your ear there? Yeah, you living the good life, aren't you? Got your own little stoop there. There you go, Mick. Sunday night, uh, we're here at Goodwill on my way home. Uh, I'm gonna pop in there and see if we can find a treasure to list on eBay. Making a habit of it, but let's head on in there and see what they have to offer today. Welcome back to another trip to the thrift. We're back for more. Let's see what we can find today. Blue tag sale today. We're gonna head in and see if we can find one. Some sharp looking Adidas here, but they're asking $24.99 for those. Way too much to make some money on them. Some good looking Reeboks with the Kevlar on them. They are 50% off. Blue tag, they're asking $19.99, which would bring them back down to about $10. These are the Nano 6, they're size 7.5. I'm not sure if there's much of a market for these, but these are the CrossFit brand. I'll have to look them up and see what they're worth. It's just kind of an interesting pair of shoes. I've never seen anything like them. I'm not really seeing any branding on them, but they're asking $12.99 for them. Anybody any, knows anything about what brand that is, let me know. I'd be interested to find out. Look at this colorway. Nice geometric design. They're asking $12.99 again. A little bit too much for off-brand shoes. It's a brand new Champion sweatshirt. Let's see how much they're asking for this. $19.99. It probably would be worth about $40 shipped online, but that's not enough profit for me. It's a nice pair of A6 Gels Pulse 2s. They're asking $19.99 for those. These are men's with the gold highlights. A lot of good uh, shoe potential in this shop today, but uh, I just am a little hesitant to pull the trigger on these at that high price point. Here's a nice pair of Nike Golf Blue Tag. They're $5.99, so it would make $3. I think that's probably worth picking up. I'm gonna give them a look over, make sure there's no stains, and add them to the cart. Look at these boxer shorts with all the Looney Tune characters on it. We got Bugs, Speedy Gonzales, Tweety Bird, Taz, the Rooster character. They're asking $4.99 for them. Looks to be kind of pajama pants slash uh, boxer shorts. Um, Seeing the size is large, but they are kind of stretchy. The elastic waistband, they're missing the drawstring, which is the only draw drawback. $4.99, I'll have to think on that. What do you guys think? This is kind of a cool little dragon for $1.99. I think I'm going to pick them up. Here's a little kinetic rock toy for $4.99, new on box. It's a cute little toy with a character on it. I do have this cool spider here for $29.99. It's a little bit too much, but it's definitely a cool die cast. Found another brand new toy for $1.99, Masters of the Universe here. It's new in box, I'm gonna add it to the cart. I have a couple cool knives in the case here. That large one is $12.99. The other one I'm not sure, but it kind of calls to me. What do you guys think? We got Funko Central here. All these Funko Pops for $9.99. Check them out. Whole slew of them. I was here at Fred Meyer browsing through these toys on clearance and found this little Skeletor for $3.97. Thought I'd add him to the cart. Of course with Skeletor, He-Man is always close by. Found him as well. So we're going to add him to the mix. Pick them both up for $3.97. Might lot them together as one auction or fixed price listing rather. Find them up at menschoice.info. It's Monday afternoon. I'm gonna head into the Goodwill here in Bellingham. Blue tag sale, we're gonna see if we can find some deals to post to menschoice.info. So let's head on in there, see what we can find today. So I'm leaving the Bellingham Goodwill right now. I didn't feel like doing a lot of uh, filming inside, but let me turn you around and see, show you what I got today so you can take a look and see 
Um, I'm going to be going through it to when I get home. Uh, total spent here, as you can see on the receipt, was $197, rounded up for them. Uh, you can see I got a little some hats, a uh, pennant, some media, a couple toys, a pair of shoes, a lot of clothing, some bedding, some underwear, sheets. But we'll go home and we'll give you a better look at everything once we get home. Stay tuned. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I went to the Goodwill yesterday and picked up quite a load to listen to my eBay store. Here's uh, one of the items I picked up. It's a little Grover. He uh, says a lot of stuff, but I'll spare you that. He's electronic. Uh, you press this little button in the middle and he says several different phase phrases. Maybe I'll play it later, but let's take a look at what I got. Here's a quick look at the first batch of stuff I have spread out here ready to be listed into my store. Um, there's this gray hat with a panda bear on front. Kind of a geometric color block on the bill. I'm not sure of the brand, but it is uh, like new condition. It's cotton poly blend snapback hat. Um, so I'll have to look it up, see if it's some sort of special brand or whatnot. There's this 2001 Diamondbacks uh, National League Champions pennant. Um, I did alright with a Everett Silver Tips pennant that sold right away, well, within the week. So I thought I'd get another one and give it another try. Up here I have some brand new boxer shorts. Uh, the packaging came apart a little bit, but there's four of them in here. Hanes Premium Stretch, they're size medium, I believe. Yeah, medium, tagless boxers, there's four of them. Um, some geometric print and some plaids and whatnot. Here I have this uh, brand new um, massage insole. Um, also brand new uh, Seattle Seahawks uh, throw blanket. Um, another brand new item here is this... Um, Play and charge cables with a desktop stand. It's for uh, gamers. It's for a, a PS4 where you can put your controllers in there and charge them up. I looked it up online and the comps were pretty good. I think I paid $6 for it, so it'll be a triple your money type of investment. I'm trying to try some new items, so I was over at the electronics and saw this um, little bed sheet. It's for a twin flat bread bed. Um, and I think it's um, Iron Man, I think, is the character on there. Um, and lastly, is this pair of two pack of K Bell um, dress socks, women's socks, sizes 4 to 10, sock size 9 11. So I think they're women's socks. There's a Christmas print, and then on the other side is the Halloween. Um, the tag says $12. Brand new retail price, manufacturer suggested price, so it'll be close to that price listed. So that's what I got going up today. A um, couple items over here that I'm going to add into the mix. I paid up for these two items. This is a like new pair of Adidas golf shoes. University is the on the side there. As you can see, the bottoms are crispy clean. Looks like they maybe have been doubt they've ever been worn maybe one time maybe they went to the range and hit a few balls in them but they look brand new to me I paid uh, $19.99 for those plus tax so um, again either double or triple my money on that and another one I paid up for a little bit was this Harley Davidson denim jacket it's a medium so it's a little smaller but the Harley stuff always sells well um, I cleaned it up a little, it fell on the floor and had some dust, but it all kind of washed off, wiped right off, so it's ready to be listed. Um, on the back, it does say Harley Davidson, as you can see there, so it's uh, embroidered in there with the kind of raised lettering. So those are kind of um, two of the items I paid up for this week, I'm trying to uh, do a couple items where I pay a little bit more money, and they sell at a little faster rate. So those are two items that I'm hoping will do that. I hit up the clothing section pretty hard. I went through the jackets and vests and got a stack here. So I paid $2 each for all of those. And I also added these um, 
short sleeve button front dress shirts. Just went through and pulled all the two dollar ones. Um, stayed away from the plaids because they don't sell as well, but there's a few in here that might have some striped, but mostly solid colors and uh, mostly some brand name stuff. So I'll be posting those up, well, some in each store. Another section I tried this week was media. There was a lot of new media out there. Um, I usually get media from the storage units I buy and not the thrift stores, but I thought I would give it a look and see what was out there and found all these um, items to sell, brand new, a lot of them in uh, the shrink wrap. So as you can see, we got Grover watching over the stack of uh, media I found yesterday. I thought I'd take a second to get on camera and show you a little bit about um, what I actually picked up. Um, a lot of this, like uh, you can see, is brand new in shrink wrap, never been opened. So here is a look at a CD called God Is Here, Reflections, the Reader's Digest version of uh, songs. It's got a lot of the classics on the back here. Um, that's the one uh, deep music CD I picked up. Um, we got Susie Orman. Uh, Eight Mistakes You Can't Afford to Make. So I know uh, Susie Orman is a popular gal. This is uh, also new in the shrink wrap. Um, I found this Call of Duty uh, PlayStation 3 pack. It's got a bunch of games in here. I think three different games. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to list this together or pull them apart, but it's got uh, the Black Ops collection. Black Ops 2, the original, and the, the third one. So all three of them in here. This is a music CD, uh, DVD rather, um, a compilation of artists on here. I think it's called COL 2009. It must be some sort of festival with all kinds of music. Let's see, some of the artists include Bare Bones, uh, Space Monkey, um, let's see if I recognize any other. Soul Fire, Gravity Still Works, Light and Day. So, you know, if you're looking for some new music, it's got a whole list of them to try out, see their live show. Um, brand new Family Guy. This is the untold story, all new, outrageous, and uncensored. So, any Family Guy fans, we got some brand new Family Guy. Here's a brand new copy of uh, Stanley Kubrick's uh, classic, The Shining, starring Jack Nicholson. Brand new. It's got the original tag on it. A um, couple fitness DVDs here. Cardio Burn Yoga. Uh, also brand new in the shrink wrap. $14.99 price tag on there. And we got yoga. And now we have Pilates. Uh, five Pilates workouts. Five Day Fit Pilates, brand new in shrink wrap. This was kind of interesting, uh, the History Channel, where the past comes alive, um, brand new. So if you like watching the History Channel, here's a brand new disc. This is another History Channel um, program, Engineering and Empire, the complete series. So if you're fans of the History Channel, this one is not brand new, but um, I thought I might lock those up together. I'm not sure yet, but here's a brand new copy of Mad Men. This is uh, season one, so the very first season. So if you're a fan of Mad Men, this is in shrink wrap, brand new. And here's complete second season of Oz. This is uh, not brand new, but they're all in there. As you can see, three of them in there. Always check to make sure they're all in there. But season two of Oz. And lastly, Nickelodeon, The Legend of Korra. Not familiar with this, but it is brand new. Book three, it's called Change. So The Legend of Korra. So if you're interested in getting some new media, those will be posted to menschoice.info. Here's what Grover says. Hello, everybody! Bye-bye! <laughs> That's just some of what he does. 
This is the bottom of the toy. You can see you can try the on, the off, and the try me section. So that was the try me. Hello, everybody! It is I, Super Grover 2.0! been working hard to get things listed. I thought I'd give you a look at the last batch of jackets I have from Monday's uh, haul at the Goodwill. Let's turn you around and give you a look at it. Uh, I picked up these two vests. It's kind of a little um, club room brown vest jacket. Size XL. Also a Ralph Lauren um, sweater vest for XL. It's kind of a navy blue. Um, this little White uh, Sierra size medium hooded jacket. Colshan Athletics, it's a smaller size, an extra small, next level kind of athletic jacket. This one is also hooded, I believe. It's a little windbreaker by Wind River, size medium. Another windbreaker here. This is kind of a baseball golf type thing. Eason XL, a little windbreaker jacket, kind of a quarter zip. Uh, Old Navy Active uh, size medium gray jacket and a real nice uh, fleece Columbia size large orange jacket. So I got all of these for about two dollars each on the sale day. It was blue on Monday so I'll be working on getting those photographed and also listed. So once I do that all of Monday's haul will be up on my store at menschoice.info. Go there to take a look. Welcome back to another trip to the thrift. I uh, just got back from the dentist. I'm here in Bellingham. Thought I'd head into this uh, Humane Society, Whatcom Humane Society thrift shop. Had some good luck in here uh, last time I was here for the first time. So let's turn you around and give you a look at it. It's just a little thrift shop here in uh, Bellingham by the Burlington Coat Factory. It's a nice little shop. We're going to head in there and see if they have any treasures for us to listen to my eBay store. So let's go and see what they got. We're here at the Bellingham Burlington Coat Factory. We're going to head in there and check the clearance section, see what they got to offer. Clearance rack does sometimes have deals. We just found these darkers here. They're marked down to $3.99. So if you can see that, just $3.99. So we're going to add that to the cart. Found this nice shirt on clearance for $6.99. It's a 3XL Lee solid blue dress shirt, so I'm going to add that to the card as well. Found this nice champion size medium with the WSU logo on front. Priced down to $2.99, so we're going to have to add that to the order as well. Found another one double marked down to just $3.49. It's a cornerstone bodega size large gonna add that to the cart. So I'm leaving Burlington Coat Factory. I thought I'd give a quick recap on what I purchased there. Total spent was $19 as you can see right there. I picked up this uh, Champion medium polo shirt with the WSU logo for $2.99. This pair of uh, Dockers 40 by 30 for $3.99. A nice Lee Blue 3X dress shirt for $6.99 and this corner store, corner store bodega size large for $3.49 it's kind of a flannel type uh, solid dress shirt so that's what I got at Burlington had some pretty good luck at the Burlington Coat Factory so I thought I'd uh, head over here since I'm in the neighborhood uh, swing by Ross and see what's on their clearance rack maybe I can uh, find a few more treasures for uh, the eBay store so let's head on in and see what they got to offer so I did find some deals in there at Ross let me turn you around and show you what I found as you can see I spent seventeen dollars and eighteen and eighty eight cents rather I did pick up a few toy items uh, kind of small, easy to ship, triple your investment type of deals. This little bubble 
bubble gun here and these two Roblox action figures were only $3.99 each and then I also added these tank tops which were $1.49 each so four tank tops and three toys we'll take those home and get them listed menschoice.info we're here at the AL Assistance League of Bellingham Thrift and Gift never been in there looks like they're open today so we're gonna head in there and see what they're all about it's back here in the audio section DVDs and uh, CDs and whatnot found these uh, this Packers DVD for two dollars I'm gonna pick that up also back here is Bob Hope thanks for the memories book it's five dollars but um, sealed but it doesn't sell very well also sealed is this Ken Follett audiobook for eight dollars it's a little price too much the selfie rate on those is a little too low to pull the trigger on them but I'm gonna get this uh, Packers uh, DVD for two dollars they have kind of a cool art section back here. Look at these pencil drawings. This elephant, a little zebra, giraffes. $15 each for those prints. Kind of like those. What do you guys think? So I'm le leaving that Assistance League of Bellingham thrift store. It's a pretty cool little store. Never been in there. But I did find a few nice items that I'm going to take home for my eBay store. Let's give you guys a look at what I got. As you can see there, it cost me $11.97. Um, what I picked up was mostly media. I got this 1955 um, Life Magazine for $1. Uh, another Life Magazine from 94, but it's uh, remembering the life of uh, Jackie uh, Onassis, Kennedy Onassis, for $1. got this cool little um, train book. I know people, a lot of people like trains, so it has all these pictures of trains, so it should be a quick sale. Um, I got this Elizabeth Taylor biography in photographs, so it's just all photos of Elizabeth Taylor, pretty cool. And this uh, old space technology book, I think it's from... 1965 so I'll have to look that up see what it's worth but um, newer items I got this brand new Packers uh, DVD showed you guys that and this brand new 24 countdown game so that's what I picked up just under $12 should do all right on it while I'm downtown I thought I'd swing by my favorite uh, Penny Lane um, parked down here by the art wall uh, by the little spear um, park downtown Bellingham but I thought I'd walk over there and see if I can find something make a day of it so we're gonna head over there short little walk and see what we can find give you guys a quick look at what they have in the windows still the same uh, setup for the most part oh this looks a little different Got all those glass balls and that mannequin looks like they're uh, currently switching things up a little giving it a fresh look so let's head on in and see what they got so I'm back from Penny Lane I spent hundred and twenty eight dollars there I'm gonna turn you around and give you a look at what I purchased it's all right there in that bag I'll give you a sneak peek here I got this little cast iron antique um, tape dispenser but you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what's in that bag I'll let you know when I get home on my way to Lake Padden, I always like to drive down this street. I'm sure if you guys can see it though, look at that view as you look out the window. Look at that. Can you imagine if you had a place here and you looked out on the bay like that every day? Quite a view. This is that road that goes right down to Fairhaven. It's kind of a nice view of it. So I'm getting kind of tired and hungry, spent a lot of money on inventory, but I thought I'd stop here at Padden, do a little walk around Padden, snap a few photos, see what we can find today. Maybe we can get a good image before I head home and show you what's in that bag. I know you guys are all curious. No skipping to the end. Stick with me through this little walk and the reward is on the other side. So let's see what we can do. Thought I'd give you guys a nice look at the lake. Down here, waterfront. I noticed that the gray heron is over there. 
perched on this little uh, stick. There's a couple birds out there. But let's head over to uh, see what this heron is uh, up to today. He's um, on his stick over here just enjoying the sunshine. So let's see what, he's, uh, what he'll do once we walk over there. There he is. It's kind of bright out here for me to see him from here. But I think if I zoom in, you guys can get a good, uh, good look at him. He's perched right on the end of that stick there. He likes to hang out there, bask in the sun. I got a few photos of him the other day, stretching his legs, but he doesn't do much though other than just sit there. So it's not a great photo, but there he is. Not sure if you guys can see this, but look how much algae is in this water over here. As you head over here, it's all green over there. Sea of green algae. It's taken over here. I guess this plant uh, must attract a lot of algae. Look at this. It's all green. All the way down. Cakes up in green right there too. Took a little photo of these sticks. They look kind of cool over there. Can see it. Kind of cool how they all gathered right there. This is kind of a cool vantage point of the lake. Up a little bit higher. They have that dock down there. On the far side of the lake, the little bridge that goes up the hill. Never been on this uh, portion of the trail, but it's kind of an interesting vantage point. Got a little log jam right here. A little foamy log jam, look at that. Water here even appears to be a little bit greener than usual. Still flowing nice though. Good flow off the lake. A nice little waterfall on this side. All these logs stacked up, blocking it off, foaming things up over here. That water gets through. As Bruce Lee says, be like water. Finds a way. Here's where it's all coming from, straight off the lake, right under this bridge here. There's the bridge that goes up the hill, right off the lake, all the way down. The lake is still pretty high. It's a big dock. This is kind of a peaceful little spot. The sun's shining through here. Water's not as green over here, it's much clearer. The old growth uh, fell down here. Kind of created this little pond amongst the trees up here. It's a nice little spot. So I walked over here to try to get some nature photography, find some wildlife. It's hollering at me, but I don't see him. You see him? Oh, I see him. He's right there. He's right there on that branch. He's making all kinds of ruckus, so he's got kind of a longer neck. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is, but let's see if I can get close enough to get a photo. Can't trust the logs up here. I was walking along this log right here. Perfectly good looking log. Stepped right there, the whole thing went out from under me. Tumbled down. Lost the shot of the bird, which turned out to be a squirrel. Wasn't a bird in the first place.
So I got a picture of the heron, a picture of that little squirrel fell off that log. So I think I'm gonna call this a hike a little bit short. Not go all the way around the lake, head back to the car, head home, do some work. I'll show you what I got in that bag in a moment. Stay tuned. Not much has changed, as you can see, he's still just sitting there. Actually, he's looking at me now. Still just sitting there, soaking in that sun. The life of a heron. And he's got it good. All right, I'm back from Lake Padden. We're here the moment you've been waiting for. I'm gonna show you what was in that little white bag from Penny Lane what I spent $128 on and what I'll be posting to my eBay store. So without further ado, let's turn you around and give you a look at it. So I showed you this little cast iron tape dispenser as a teaser. These go for about $30 online. I paid eight for it, so I should be able to triple up my investment on that. Also was this antique glove. They wanted $10 for this and uh, it's a catcher's mitt. Cooper, I think, is the brand on it, so I'll have to look up, look it up and see what those go for, but yeah, there it is, Cooper. It's in good condition. It should be a 30 to $50 mitt, somewhere in that range, but I'll look it up and uh, check the comps and list accordingly. But uh, here's the big purchase. I uh, made an offer on these uh, little piece of my childhood and many of yours too, I'm sure. We're Masters of the Universe characters. All different characters. I'm sure some of these you'll remember from your childhood if you're about my age. But they had a whole set there and I made an offer and they accepted it. Includes, I think, um, let's see, there's three characters. Um, I did look up some of these online and there's a decent sell-through rate on them so we should have uh, no problem finding a home for these. Um, so there's four of the characters. Here's another one. I'm gonna have to look to see. Maybe there's a special one that uh, sells for a little bit more. Uh, I know these uh, these panthers and the battle horse here do sell for quite a bit of money. And this does have all the accessories on it. I think this one I was going to look up and see exactly how much it goes for. Um, depending on the date of production and all that. But if this is one of the older ones, it could be worth a decent amount of money. Pay for the whole lot. Um, this one is the Battle Cat. And what is this one called? This one is Panther, I believe. Yeah, the M Motu Panther. Uh, there's a couple more characters here. So there's all the characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. So nine pieces. We're getting them for just over $10 a piece. Should be no problem doubling, if not tripling, the investment. Um, I'm still, you know, I thought about listing them as one lot to save me some time, but I think I'm going to list them individually. That's the way you make the most money, so I'll put the work in. Hopefully the money will trickle on in. So there it is, the moment you've been waiting for, Masters of the Universe. A baseball mitt and a vintage tape dispenser. Cast iron, that thing weighs a ton. You can get those at menschoice.info. I'll be working to get those listed right away. So while I was in the media section, I did find these clear um, CD, DVD cases that I picked up um, for $2.99, I think it was. I'm going to take some of these loose CDs and start putting them in there and getting them listed. As you see, we got a few here. We got uh, Don't Mess With the Zohan, the Sandler film, the classic Twister, uh, the movie The Haunting. Tom Cruise, MI3, Mission Impossible 3, and the movie Snitch here, all ready to get photographed and listed. So I'm going to add that to the list of inventory going up today.